You're streaming on GNN, the global news network. This is a special presentation of Japan Journal, the Internet's number one English language online cybercast from Japan. GNN is a network of TDM, Totown Digital Media, a division of Totown Communications Group Japan. And now your host, Malcolm W. Adams. Good day, everyone, and welcome to yet another edition of Japan Journal, the Internet's number one weekly English language online cybercast from Japan. I'm your host, Mal Adams, here with a special report. Unknown Curiosities is our feature today, and we're going to be dealing with the recent congressional conference dealing with UFOs. Uh, in the past few days, three military veterans testified in Congress's highly anticipated hearing on UFOs, including a former Air Force intelligence officer who claimed the U.S. government has operated a secret multi-decade reverse engineering program of recovered vessels. He also said the U.S. has recovered non-human biologics from alleged crash sites. But while the topic of little green men did not come up, much of the discussion centered on improving processes for reporting unidentified aerial phenomena or UAPs, as they're being called now, the military's term for UFOs. Increasingly, UAP refers to anomalous rather than aerial phenomena to account for sightings in both air and water. Here now with a perspective on the story is our correspondent in Tokyo, Art Inman. In the wake of recent news, it's clear that the universe is eager to keep us on our toes. Just a month ago, a former intelligence officer by the name of David Grush testified to Congress that the U.S. government holds evidence of alien existence, recovered from crashed UFOs. Now, while the Department of Defense and the Vatican alleged to be part of a UFO cover-up have denied these claims, it's certainly food for thought. Next, we dive into a realm where the impossible becomes possible, where time slows down and space contracts. Welcome to the world of Einstein's special relativity. Imagine you're on a train, moving at a constant speed, you toss a ball up and catch it. To you, the ball moves straight up and down, but to someone standing outside, the ball follows a curved path since the train is moving. Yet, in both perspectives, the laws of physics apply equally. That's the first postulate of special relativity. The laws of physics behave the same, whether you're standing still or moving at a constant speed. Now imagine you're holding a flashlight on that train, you turn it on, and the light shoots forward. According to classical physics, to an outside observer, the light should appear slower as it's moving in the same direction as the train. But here's where Einstein flipped the script. He proposed that the speed of light remains constant regardless of the observer's motion or the light source's motion. That's the second postulate of special relativity. The implications of these two simple postulates are profound, leading to mind-bending concepts like time dilation and length contraction. But let's save those for another day. So, there you have it, a quick dive into the world of UFOs and special relativity. But we're just scratching the surface here. In the next episode, we delve deeper into these fascinating topics and explore the tantalizing possibilities they present. From the potential existence of extraterrestrial life to the mysteries of time and space, the universe is full of questions waiting to be answered. This is Art Inman reporting from Tokyo for Japan Journal. Now back to Mal Adams in the studio. All right, thank you for that insightful report from Tokyo. Now back here in the studio, we're going to further dissect these topics. Coming up with me in our next report is renowned astrophysicist, Dr. Clara Hubble, who will help us explore these extraordinary claims and theories. We'll be talking about the scientific evidence supporting the existence of UFOs, the principles of special relativity, and how these two seemingly disparate subjects might be more interconnected than we think. So stay right tuned to Japan Journal here on GNN for an enlightening conversation that will take us beyond the boundaries of our known universe. After all, in the cosmos, nothing is as it seems. You're streaming on GNN, the global news network. This is a special presentation of Japan Journal, the internet's number one English language online cybercast from Japan. GNN is a network of TDM, Totown Digital Media, a division of Totown Communications Group Japan.